Good afternoon. Welcome to the Handmaidens. Um, it's Friday. I usually never post a video on Friday, but I have been sick all week. And I'm happy to say that it has not been the C word. Oh, never mind. It might be the other C word, a cold, but it really knocked me out. Everybody in the family's had it. Anyhow, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome. If this is the first time stopping by, Grab a chair, grab a drink, stick around, because today I'm going to show you how to do something really, really, really adorable and really important, and you're going to be so amazed how easy and why you never thought of it before, okay? So what I, we're going to talk about today is what's bugging you. What's bugging me? You know what's bugging me? Oh, it says season of the return of insects. That's right. If you're doing your spring cleaning now, you might be putting away your woolly sweaters and your wool blankets and your wool skirts and suits and all sorts of great stuff. Wool fedoras. Oh, I want a wool fedora. Um, anyhow, so when you're putting all that stuff away, you know who's coming to play, right? The moss. And the moss are going to, you think, they're going to eat your stuff. But they're not because I got some information for you about moss. Um, but that's not all we're gonna do. We're gonna make, we're gonna go back about moss because we're gonna start, I'm gonna tattletale on them. These are, these are, oh, these creatures. Whoa, you won't believe it. Anyhow, so we, um, we're gonna make today sachets and I'm gonna show you how um, really, really adorable, so cute, wonderful, all different kinds. I'm going to show you how. So quick, so easy, so cheap. And boy, are they going to help us with the bugs. Okay, so I'll show you the rest of them later. Back to the moths. So we think the moths eat our, eat our clothes. And the fact is that, uh, did you know that moths don't have mouths? That's right. They don't talk and they don't eat. Now, so what's happening to the sweaters, right? Uh, what happens to that uh, fisherman sweater that I want so bad that I never got? It's getting eaten somewhere, but is it the moth? Nope. As a matter of fact, the only thing a moth does, an adult moth, 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 moth is drinks nectar, okay? So it's drinking, and the other thing it does is it has sex. Okay, so... Wait a minute. So, this is having a few cocktails, getting jiggy with it on your sweater. Is that causing the holes? No. You know what it is? There's consequences to everything. If you're living life like a moth and you decide to, you know, have a few cocktails, find your soulmate and get jiggy with it on the um, fisherman sweater Denise doesn't have, you might have babies. And what happens with a moth? It's the darn babies that do the Because babies are larvae and they will eat darn near everything. And they will certainly eat your wool, woolies, woolly, your woolly everything, your woolly slippers, whatever you got. So what we have to do is figure a way to keep the moths from finding your stuff so cozy, let's get it on. You know, they're not, we don't want Mr. and Mrs. Moth mating on your stuff. Um, and what did we do for hundreds of years? What did we do? We used something called mothballs. Whoa. Do you remember them? Do you remember your grandma having mothballs? I do. My grandma had them in, and she put her clothing in garment bags and she put mothballs in and I used to, Smell the mothball. It was set. It, it fascinated me. And come to find out that mothballs are made of naphthalene and they are as toxic as heck. They might even be illegal in some circumstances. You can like, you can't even put them outside, like, because it scares away every animal whatsoever, but it's illegal to do so. Um, so, and you shouldn't have them in your house and you shouldn't have them in your attic and you shouldn't have them in your basement. My Nana had them. Oh my God. I remember she had a trunk of ball gowns. They were so beautiful. And they came out with all holes and whatever. She had stored them since the 1920s, I guess. And, um, yep. The mothballs didn't save them, but there was mothballs everywhere. 
really toxic. It's amazing she lived that long. I Maybe she wasn't smelling hers, but I was sniffing her, her mothballs all the time. Anyhow, what you do is what we're going to do today is we're going to use a product that is so much safer, and it is cedar. Cedar. Good old cedar. Now, why on earth? Would I be making something when you can buy cedar, you know, out there? Well, because I found a better way to do it. Because I found a source of cedar that's pretty inexpensive. And then we can turn them into these incredible sachets. And wow. You want to know where I get my cedar from? Let me show you. Blah. Pet bedding. That's right. Go to the store and get some pet bedding. Cedar chips, all natural. If you were a woodworker and you happen to have, um, you know, making some cedar stuff, which would be beautiful. Remember cedar chests, hope chests used to be made of cedar for that purpose. You put your clothes in there and they stay protected. Cedar um, is, you know, it's used as litter, which means it absorbs moisture and it absorbs odors and it repels moss. Okay. But that's not the only guys we're going to have to deal with. Because you know what else I don't like besides moss? And maybe you don't like them. How about stink bugs? How about ticks? How about mosquitoes? How about flies? How about spiders? We know we love spiders, but we don't like them near us, right? Is that the fact? So so I came and I did some research about things that different different ticks. Ticks, for example, hate clove. Eucalyptus, lavender, lemon, rosemary, spearmint, cedar, ooh, and peppermint. Lavender also gets rid of mosquitoes. Moss. Moss? Yeah, see, now we got two things. Lavender and cedar. Flies, ticks, spiders, balls, spiders. Spider-Man be gone. Stink bugs, hate lemongrass oil, clove oil, spearmint oil, lang lang, and I hate stink bugs. And there's also a bunch of plants that you can plant. I made notes because I can't remember everything, but uh, uh, basil, peppermint, mint, chrysanthemums, lavender, lemongrass, marigolds, rosemary, sage, catnip, and garlic are all good plants. Um that uh, will deter if you want to just plant them around so you don't have uh, so many bugs in your backyard when you're hanging out during the summer, you know. Um, some of these also are, are deer deterrent, and I would like to do a video in the future as I stock up on that because it, it's going to be not only me against the moths and the stink bugs, it's going to be me against the deer because the deer love my tulips and they love my hostas. And I got lots of tulips and lots of hostas for about 15 seconds, and then they come eat them. So we're going to conquer that beast this year. As, as God is my witness, we're going to do it. So anyhow, let me show you things I've made. I have a lot of supplies behind me here. Um, I don't know if you can see. I got all kind of tied up here. So we've got... Um, we have, can you see that? I don't know. So we've got some, we have some uh, uh, essential oils. I've got cinnamon bark and tea tree oil and ginger and fir needle and camphor. Camphor's a good one. I don't know if I mentioned on the list. Uh, eucalyptus, clove, rosemary, lemon. I've also got some stuffing, some whole, um, some whole cloves. I got lavender. I got rose, but rose does too. I got rice that has been treated and I've got this other ingredient here. What is that? That is another great filler for a, for, I'm all crooked, sorry. Whoa, help straighten me out. Oh, there we go. This is, I got a new tripod today, a little itty bitty guy, and I don't know what, you know, me and him have to get to know each other. Anyhow, so another great thing to put into, into your, um, Sachets. If you don't want to go, maybe you're sensitive to cedar. Maybe you, you know, floral scents aren't the thing. 
but you want to protect your clothing because the other thing that's coming in spring, besides the deer, besides the moss and the stink bugs and the ticks and the mosquitoes and the spiders, we're going to get moisture because it rains. April showers bring May flowers. So it's going to rain and 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 rain, rain, rain. And when it does, things get moist. So when things, nothing destroys stuff more than water. So I've got, um, a great uh, little sachet that you can make that you could throw into your drawers. And where's my stuff? This is like who knew, okay? Right here, this is it. Yep, cat litter. Well, that doesn't sound very appealing. This one is unscented, so that's good if you're sensitive to scents. It's the crystal cat litter. And do you know what that is? That is silica. You know when you have buy new shoes and they got those little packets in there to preserve the shoes and keep the moisture out? That's what this is, silica. So it will absorb odors. It will absorb moisture. And it's perfect to put in your drawers and your wooden drawers. Perhaps you don't have a cedar cabinet. So, so that's excellent. Um, rice. Rice absorbs. We can add, um, I have one here where I added uh, a mixture of clove oil and, um, and actually whole cloves. And I just stirred it up. A few drops will do you in a little bit. You don't need this, but I'm going to, that much, but I'm going to make more. Because I'm going to make a big, I got lots of drawers. How many drawers do you have? I got a lot of drawers in my house. And I got lots of closets. And... Uh, these things are good for fleas. You can uh, tuck them under the cushions in your couches in case uh, Jack gets up on your couch, you know. You can put them, hang them from your curtains where those stink bugs like to hide. You can bring them out on the patio and hang them from the umbrella and, and keep the mosquitoes away. So we're going to make one, but I want to show you some different variations. The first thing you're going to need is some fabric. I got a piece of, here I took, this is a fat quarter. Don't. You don't need a fat quarter. You need to scrap a piece of fabric. I've got I've got a whole basket of fabric here that's just that that basket's got cousins. I got about a hundred baskets of fabric. So I picked this because of the color. It'll be easier to see what we're doing. Okay, it's a little springy, but um, here's some here's some uh, that I have made. Let me show you. I showed you this. This has a cedar. This has one with stuffing with Lang Lang, and there's one with just the silica. Just toss it in the drawer and draw, you know, if it's a damp room, if you've got any rooms in the basement, bedrooms there, you want you want these pack babies everywhere, right? When they get wet, like rice or, or silica, you take them outside and you put them on the picnic table in the sun on a hot sunny day and they dry out. Yep, and they're good as new. Here's, um... This is one I made. This is cedar and pine. I put some pine chips in there and the cedar, okay? It's that rustic kind of look, you know, that we all sort of crave now. This is uh, rose petals. I read and I didn't, didn't write down what rose petals do deter some things. So, but it just so happens to be my, oh my God, it's delicious. Delicious. My favorite scent at all. Um, I've got, this is, I made another cedar one. I've got two matching guys. What's this guy? And lavender. That's for lavender flowers. Um, if you grow this stuff in the garden, ooh, la -dee man, you got it going on. Nice to give a gift of a couple of them. You know, Mother's Day's coming, Easter's coming, Father's Day's coming. Kids are make great favors for weddings and and uh, for bridal showers, and what they don't have bridal showers anymore, do they? They have like you know the mixed the mixed group of whatever the his and her thing, right? Baby showers. I know use dad now. Um, here's a cedar one that made you know the heck with that thing in the car that looks like a Christmas tree. Make your own. That's a big guy. You can make them any size you want. It's not going to hurt because this is a. A ginger and clove rice one. And yeah, they look, they might make you think of, oh my God, Christmas, but it doesn't matter. You can hang these little fellers 
or anywhere all oh, just change the color make them look different right all year long keep you safe they will protect you from bugs and now we're going to make one so simple we're not going to do one of the shapes what you got to have is our shapes you need a shape you need a shape and you need something to to uh trace the shape with on a piece of fabric so i have this great pen here um and it's a disappearing mark be gone disappearing this one's washable the blue side this one is washable plus it goes away with air so that's really cool okay don't go away we haven't made our project yet stick around geez what you in a hurry for come on so anyhow here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take a sheet of paper of uh, fabric okay i have other shapes that i have used i have used like like this this is a candle holder i use that for a star this is a you know a little whatever round circle thing that you get your ribbon on use that i've got these little foam shapes i don't know why i have them but i use them to make the gingerbread guy in the in the tree and what we're going to do is we're going to put down the shape we're going to use and we're going to trace um any shapes get a heart shape get get whatever get you name it so here is a, a four by four tile that i got from the basement my hoard of stuff i don't know why i own i do like that tile though i should tile something with that and we're gonna, just going to set it on let's see if i put this down here can you see what i'm okay we're going to set it on here i hope i hope i can get the angle that's a good thing maybe me and this this guy's going to be friends, this camera, or not, tripod. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my magic, my magic um, pen, my magic erasable pen. I'm just going to set it here, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to draw. Remember, it's going to disappear. I didn't draw that kind of, eh, that's all right. And draw, draw, draw a square wrong sides together you can use two different shape fabrics like i did on on the cow ones the cow and chicken ones on the back i have a yellow fabric so you can do that too so you don't have there, there is no limit to what you can do just use your imagination now there we go that's it can you see that i don't know if it'll show but i've got a purple square drawn on there now we're going to come over here to the machine and i hope you can see in there maybe not eh, that might not be good that might not be a good angle anyhow what you're gonna do hold on sorry for that see i need a cameraman all right sorry oh i don't know in a new chair probably so well, there we go i'm so sorry about that so i'm gonna block oh I'm going to sew straight stitch on three sides. One, two, three, okay? You're not going to be able to see this because I just can't get the right angle here. But it's just you can hand sew this. Easy. Don't worry about it. You absolutely can. Three sides. And let's open I'm all plugged in here. Here we go, and let's see. One. When you come to the corner, it's probably good to go in reverse to strengthen those corners. Back it up. If you've never sewn, or you have a sewing machine that's still in a box because you're intimidated, get that out. Go find a YouTube channel. Look up your, go find you, go on YouTube. Look up your mo make and model of your sewing machine and learn how to use it. I know this This is like, people have lots of stuff they have gotten over the years. I know people that didn't use their crock pot. I use five crock pots a day, nearly. You know, use your stuff. Do this. Get rid of, make your own non-toxic. If you don't like how the one, let's say you're making a gift and you don't like how it comes out, okay? Well, you keep that for yourself. Try it again. And try it again. The one thing the Handmaidens is about is, 
we totally believe that there is nothing wrong in not knowing what you're doing because you're never going to learn if you don't try. This is not, this is, we're not snobs here. We appreciate, we celebrate challenging ourselves to do something new, something different. Okay. I'm going to put that down, do the third, third line. And I think I am. There we go. And back up. And there we go. I'm going to pull that out. Put my right thing. And clip my threads. Now, now you've got a three sided, it's sewn on three sides, right? And what well, you can't see it because I use white thread, but trust me, it's so. What I'm going to do is take a pair of pinking shears. Ta da! This is, and we're going to clip right up, right up straight. Here we go. And then I'm going to, you can keep trimming till they're just the way you want them. And then I'm going to come over here. That one's, that one's lopsided, but I'll fix it all in the end, okay? And I'm going to come down the third side. And I'm going to give myself some room. We're going to glop it off the top. We're going to still have to sew there. Okay. But first, we've got to stuff it. And we're going to use... We'll make a, um, hmm, 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 I don't know. Maybe I was going to make a cedar one because that's what this is all about. Discovering the good use of cedar and moss during spring cleaning. But I'm not. That's so pretty. I'm going to make, oh, maybe I'll make another rose petal one. How's that? There we go. Another rose petal. Beautiful. You have roses. If you're not growing roses, that's great. You can make so many wonderful things. Rose oil, rose petal, this, or you're going to eat some roses. And it's just so good. And skin products and soaps. Okay, so I'm just going to fill this up. What you can do if you have something that's not, use a, use a funnel. This is a canning funnel. Okay, and... Put them in. Here we go. And there's my hand again. How do I, how do I do this? So you can't, you just put them in. There we go. Put it, push them down. Push them down. Fill it up. And then you're going to sew across that last thing. Um, last side. What, what you could do, there's two ways to do the strings. You can sew the string in, or you can throw, sew the string on after, or you don't need a string. So, let's say, put that in there like that, push it down. I think we have too much. We got a little too much. Let's take some out. And you see it's going to go, you're going to sew across here now. But, let's see if we can't, when we sewing, Put in this green string to go in right in the center. We'll hold that there like that. Tuck it in so it's going to go down far enough so we catch it with thread when we get on our purple line. The purple line's way down here, okay? So we're going to put that in and then bring it to the machine. Yeah, and... I'm going to sew again. One line. And simple as that. Hold on. Go back and forth on your corners too. Don't forget. You want them strong. Don't want to learn. We don't we don't care if they're perfect, but we want them strong. And there we go. And up with the needle. And I didn't put my glasses on, so it's hard for me to see what I'm doing. Uh, here we go. 
And because that's in the middle, we're going to trim this separate. Okay. Fold that down. And trim. Hold on, I'm going to put this down. You can't see because I need someone to film for me. Beat a dead horse, aren't I? Okay, and then you can't cut both sides at once because you would cut through that green string. There we go. And, oops. <coughs> and there you have a green, beautiful green, 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 uh, green, sorry, green string. That's not what I meant. A beautiful floral sachet with rosebuds. Perfect for Easter gift, Mother's Day gift, bridal shower gift, um, sweet 16. Um, just make them for yourself. Don't give them away. Make a million of them for yourself. I had a little button here. I don't know where I put it. You can add a button. You can add any sort of embellishment you want. There's no limit. There's no limit on how cute or how plain you make these. Uh, I do encourage you. Go use some, find an old shirt. You know, how cute would these be with, you know, let's see little Tommy's, uh, little flannel shirt that he had and you can't give it to anybody because it's got a big stain on it. You don't know what to do with it. Do not throw it in the garbage. Oh my God, little flannel. Use those sleeves. Use the good part, the back. Make little flannel ones. How cute is that? You must have a, oh my God, I hate this skirt. I hate this dress. I put on 50 pounds. All that. And we'll talk about food. Uh, well, I can't talk about anything. We will try and talk about uh, clothing waste and textile waste in another video. But right now, we're trying to conquer the bugs, okay? Because they are coming. They are planning. They're going to be doing strange things on your woolen products. And they're going to they're gonna annoy you. They're going to be hiding. They're, a lot of these things even uh, can even get rid of ants, too. You know, deter them. They're very sensitive to the very smells that we love the most. Now, they want to get in, wreck our lives, and get us annoyed. We don't want to kill them because we do need them for our ecosystem, okay? You do have to have... Um, you have to have uh, insects for birds to eat and other animals to eat and other, you know, things like for them to eat each other. They that's how that's how the world goes round. We're not trying to eliminate anyone. We just want them not in our vicinity. OK, and that's that. Um, I hope I can get some of these bloopers out. But if not, you know, bear with me. Forgive me. Um, if you're still here at the end, if you made it this long, would you do you a favor, me a favor, because there's so much great stuff out there. There's a wonderful video that Elisa just posted on the baby lambs are growing. Oh, my God. She's got a short that's to die for. Troy was given some new information on, um, oh, cheap lighting systems. Yeah, so go go to the channel. Check out the new videos. Check out the old videos. Check out the shorts. We're real, real happy with the shorts because they're just fun to watch. And if you like everything, hit subscribe and do do me a favor. Do you a favor. If you want to see them when they come out, hit that subscribe, that, that bell, because you won't ever find us because we're an eeny weeny teeny tiny station and you're not going to see us amongst all the big dogs. And maybe you want to, maybe you want to hang with us. We want to hang with you. We want to know, we want to know what bugs that you don't like and what do you do to keep them at bay? And, and that's that's safe and natural, non-toxic and things like that. You know, give us some ideas. Give us a craft you want us to try. I'll try anything. It doesn't nearly anything uh, within reason because uh, I like a good challenge. So I'll give I'll do it live without having ever tried it before and see how it goes. I don't mind. OK, until then, um, stay well. Hope you don't get this cold that's going around. There's also a tummy bug. I hope you don't get that. Stay warm. We still got some cold days coming. And um, and be happy and be nice to one another. Until next time. I love you. Bye-bye.